Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name's Jolie, and today's reading is May 17th, and then this is the book we're reading, A Little Time for Myself. So this is, um, I don't even remember how many books I've read now. I know a handful, like Courage to Change, Hope for Today, and um, One Day at a Time in Melanon. There's step work on this channel. So if you're so called to um, take a look at those and um, please uh, subscribe if you haven't already, if you are interested in having daily readings. So um, this book, we are on May 17th, like I said, and um, why don't we go ahead and settle in and say the serenity prayer first. All right, I'm grateful that you're here with me today. Let's go. God grant us serenity to accept the things that we can't change, to have the courage to change the things we can, and wisdom to know the difference. Right. Page 138, if you're following along. It's okay if you're not. That's perfectly great. Maybe you're driving somewhere. Maybe you're driving to work or driving home from work. Maybe. You're um, picking up the kids or cooking dinner, many things we could be doing. Or just sitting back before you go to bed or when you're just waking up in the morning. I invite you to listen and um, contemplate what comes up for you. Okay, here we go. I often find myself working feverishly to fix and conquer my problems. When that happens, I've lost sight of my higher power. I'm no longer dealing with life one day at a time when I'm trying to conquer the problem. Feverishly fixing. So when I practice trusting my higher power, I imagine being in, on a path in the forest with a peaceful fog settling in. And over it is this misty wonder. I can see neither the path ahead of me. Tomorrow, that's tomorrow. I can't see tomorrow like the path ahead of me, nor the path where I came from yesterday. I can only see a few steps in front of me today you can only see today it's a good image so today's reminder today instead of working um feverishly that's a sign right there if you're saying i'm you feel like you're grinding or you're going to be sick of some kind then there's a sign that you're you're not connecting to your higher power so today's reminder today Instead of worrying about the future that will happen anyhow, uh, or morbidly reflecting on the past, I can look to my higher power today to help me focus on the here and now. So there's a quote from Discovering Choices, the book Discovering Choices. It's a great book. I've read a few excerpts of that here on this channel. Um, if you do want to find any of the readings, um, may I suggest that you go onto the main page of this channel and in the search button, there's like that eyeglass thing. You put in like the book and those are listed in the description or the date. Like if you say January 1st, reading with Jolie Barb, that's me. And so all those will come up from January 1st, whatever, because there's a bunch of different books are dated. Um, if you want discovering choices, you would put in discovering choices specifically or step work. Those of you who are working on steps, like step one, step two, three, it goes up to 12 with Jolie Barb and all those readings from the different workbooks and books are going to be there. Okay. So just take a look if you're interested. So it says, bringing my thoughts back to today was a way to detach from what seemed to be the compelling reality 
of my imagined future and remembered past. Does that make sense? Let's read it again. Bringing my thoughts back to today. Back from where? Back from the worry and anxiety of tomorrow, bringing them back to today. Bringing the thoughts of like what I should have done or could have done in the past and didn't, bringing those back to today. Let's bring those thoughts back today was my was a way to detach from detach with love from what seemed to be the compelling reality of my imagined future and remembered past so compelling to like worry it's so like shows that you know it's falsely showing that i i care more like, like some are falsely imagining that somehow by worrying, I could somehow change that memory in my mind or change what happened. But what I found, and I, I'm able to see that a lot through other people um, as well. And that's, um, I can't change the past, but I can learn from it and use that as my toolkit. Like, okay, what did I learn from that? I learned not to do that and keep it more factual, not like romanticized. And um, because I need to keep my, my, my gratitude levels higher so that I can see and manifest my reality into my thoughts and my spirit, my soul of, of gratitude and that level of joy so that shame doesn't bring me down into depression because I can't get out of that that easily so I need to keep so that I can maintain responsibility for my emotions I'm responsible to emotionally regulate and the best way I can is through working the steps and keeping sober number one so that I can make better decisions for today so like emotional regulation to me is like the real flex in this world. It's like training your mind to be stronger than your feelings and your boundaries to be stronger than your empathy. Yeah, it's important for me today. So, oh, my cat is now using the corner of my computer as her face scrub scrubber. <laughs> All right. So the question of the day, what effect does my, does, what effect is focusing on the present have on my attitudes today? Like I said, it helps it, the effects, it keeps me with the ability to emotionally regulate, keep my emotional regulation in check so that I can jockey and uh, have uh, be responsible for my behavior and my thoughts. And um, reading helps me. Like that's why I do this first and foremost for myself so that I can have this to replace some of the, the negative thoughts or the fear-based thoughts that will um, cause me to create bad decisions in my life. So I... If I'm worried, tired, or hungry, hungry, um, I I keep a check on myself so that I don't make decisions. Then I I I feel like okay, I'm really happy today. Like you know, like this just happens, and I can do this. I I'm I my main line is reality of not the reality that it's that life is shit, but the reality that life is good and I'm grateful for it. Then I'm like, okay, I'm in a place that's safe for me and the people that I'm responsible for, like my family, to make decisions. Yeah. So that's it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here and I will see you God willing tomorrow with another reading. Um, one of my first mugs that I bought when I got here is from an artist, local artist. And I loved it. 
in here. I have my magnesium in here. I thought cocoa. So I love you and I will see you, God willing, tomorrow with another painting. Please like and subscribe and share this content with somebody who may benefit. Okay. Thank you. Love you.